welcome and let's get started. Let's start with a slip knot. We will then do a chain 20 for the small bag or chain 30 for the large. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we will do single crochet. We will do this in the back loop of each chain. So you can see that little back loop, it's like a bump, and that's where we're going to put our hook. Size small, you will have 19 single crochet, and size large, you will have 29 single crochet. This gives you a nice finish on the edge. This will be the top edge of our bag. Once you have reached the last stitch in the row, we will chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, we will do single crochet, one in each stitch, all the way across. Don't forget that last stitch. Chain one and turn. We can now repeat this for six rows total. Stop before you have reached the last stitch. This will be the top part of our bag. If you have a look, this is a nice edge. We will now change our color. Insert the hook into the stitch, draw up the yarn, but instead of taking the same yarn, we are going to change our color. So taking the new yarn and pull it through. At this time, we can actually cut our green yarn. For our small bag, we are going to do 45 rows, 15 of each color, or you can just do one color, 45 rows. It will measure about 20 inches or 51 centimeters for the small bag. And then for the large bag, we're going to do 55 rows, 24 inches or 64 centimeters. We can now start with the chain four and turn. To make our loops, we will skip the first stitch and put a single crochet into the next stitch. We will then do a chain four and then a single crochet into the next stitch. We are going to repeat this all the way across. So chain four and single crochet. If you are using 100% cotton, you could do a chain five. The reason I do a chain four is because the acrylic tends to have more of a stretch. You can make longer chains if you would like, just adjust your rows accordingly to make it to the right measurement.
For size small, you will have 18 loops across. For size large, you will have 28. The stitches will now look like they expand, but you will always have the same amount of loops in each row. We can now do a chain four and turn. We will put a single crochet into the first loop. Follow this by chain four, and then single crochet into the next loop. Repeat this to the end of the row. Finishing the row, we will put the single crochet in the last loop, chain four, and turn. We are going to repeat this pattern for every row. You will always have the same amount of loops in each row. This is what it'll look like after five rows. Still the same amount of loops. This will be 10 rows. And this will be 15 rows. Your approximate measurement will be nine inches or 23 centimeters. We will then change the color. Insert your hook into the last loop, pull up the yarn, bring in your new color, and pull through. We will then do a chain four. We can now cut our yarn and we will weave it in at the end. Turn your work, starting with the single crochet in the first loop. We are going to continue this pattern for the next 15 rows, and then change the color again. Your approximate size after 30 rows will be about 13 inches or 34 centimeters. We can now change our color again. So bringing in the new color, we can then chain four and turn our work. Again, we'll repeat this pattern for another 15 rows. Don't forget, you can cut your green yarn at this time as well. Your approximate size when done will be about 20 inches or 52 centimeters. For the large bag, you'll have about 24 inches or 61 centimeters. We will now change our color again. Bringing in the new color, this time we will just do a chain one and turn. We will start with a single crochet in the very first stitch. We will then put one single crochet into each loop, 
So for the small bag, you will have 19 single crochet. And for the large bag, you will have 29 single crochet. And don't forget to cut your ending yarn. So continuing on, we will put the one single crochet into each loop. Once you have reached the end, we will do a chain one and turn. We will start in the first stitch. Let's single crochet all the way across. Repeat this for six rows total. Your bag should now look something like this. Let's just leave this yarn for a while, and with your darning needle, we will weave in all our ends. We can now start with the handles. We will do a loose chain. Let's do 75 for the small bag and 80 for the large bag. Keeping your chain straight, we will slip stitch it to the other side. So turn your work around and slip stitch into that top chain. We will now put one single crochet in the end of each row for six total. We will then do single crochet along the side. We are going to gather our rows together. So for the small bag we'd like about 30 single crochet and the large about 40. The loops are every second row. So in order to get 30 stitches in there we're going to put one single crochet and then one single crochet and then two single crochet. Just in the end loops. So there we have one in the first loop, we'll put one in the next loop, and then we're going to put two single crochet in the next loop.
We can now repeat this down the side. This gathering is what forms the side of your bag. We can then put one single crochet in the end of each row for six total. Be sure to put your last single crochet in the top of the chain. This will just finish the edge off nicer. So in that top chain, I can get it in there. That's where we want to put our single crochet. Let me try this again. There we go. Now we can start our chain. So for the next handle, chain 75 for the small bag or 80 for the large. Keeping the chain straight, we will slip stitch to the other side. Again, put it in the top part of the chain. So right there in the top, that's where we will do our slip stitch. We can then put one single crochet in the end of each row for six total. We can then gather the side again. So we'll put 30 single crochet across for the small bag and 40 for the large. So starting in the first loop, we can start with the one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet. Don't worry if this pattern doesn't work out to the end. Just try to have your 30 stitches evenly across. We can then put one single crochet in the end of each row for six total. We can now place a marker for the start of our rounds. Your bag is taking shape and it should look something like this. We will then do single crochet into the back loop of each chain. So the same as what we did at the start, we're going to go into that bump on the back of the chain. Continue all the way around the handle with the single crochet.
we can then put a single crochet into each single crochet from the round below. Again, doing the same thing for our next handle, putting a single crochet into the back loop of each chain. Then we will put one single crochet into each single crochet from the round below. This will be round one. We can move our marker into the next row. We will continue with single crochet all the way around until we have about five or six rounds. Once you have reached back to the beginning, we can cut our yarn and pull through. With your darning needle, we can close with an invisible stitch. So putting your needle into both parts of the stitch in front, and then coming back and just putting it in the back stitch of the last single crochet you made. Just give it a little pull snug and weave into the back. Weave in your end. Thank you so much for watching. I sure hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and look forward to seeing all those crochet bags out there soon. Bye!